We all like to think that we're rational consumers and that we can never be tricked into a bad deal. Unfortunately, businesses employ people who understand neuromarking and how humans make buying decisions, and they have a lot of ways of making us think we're getting a good deal when we're actually not. One of these techniques is called the anchoring effect. The anchoring effect is the phenomena whereby our decisions are heavily based on the first piece of information we see, regardless of whether that information is accurate or not. The first piece of information is called the anchor, because once we've seen it, we become anchored to it. To test this effect in real life, Dan Ariely conducted an experiment where he asked students to bid on random products, such as computer accessories and luxury chocolates. He briefly showed them all the products before they began bidding. They were then asked to write down the last two numbers of their social security number, and then state the maximum amount they'd be willing to pay for each of the products. Astonishingly, students that had above median social security numbers were willing to pay 57 to 107% more for each of the products than students with below median social security numbers. This made no logical sense because someone's social security number has nothing to do with the price of a product. But because it was the first piece of information they wrote down, they became anchored to it such that people with higher social security numbers were willing to pay more money for a product than people with lower ones. This also works when the anchor is given to someone indirectly. For example, Kahneman and Tversky gave students 5 seconds to estimate a maths question. One group of students were given this equation, the other group of students were given this equation. The two equations are actually exactly the same, they're simply written with one in ascending order and one in descending order. The students gave an average estimate of 2250 for the first equation, and an average estimate of 512 for the second equation. They estimate the first equation to be larger simply because it began with a bigger number. The anchoring effect is of course not just confined to experiments, it's used widely in real life as well. Here's the current Amazon subscription packages. You can pay $5.99 for just Prime Video. Or for $7.99, you can also get unlimited delivery, music, photo storage, and reading with it. The first option is the anchor. It sets the seed in your mind that Prime Video is actually worth $5.99. You then look at the second option and believe that you're getting unlimited delivery, music, photo storage, and reading for only an extra £2. This makes the second option look like a great deal. But the question you should really be asking is whether the package in isolation is actually worth $7.99. Because the price they've set for the first option is simply an anchor to make you think you're getting a great deal. So where does this leave us? While we all like to pretend that we're immune to psychological tricks, the truth is we're only human and we're all subject to bounded rationality. So as consumers, we should always be careful, especially when someone is using an anchor that is not accurate, because the anchor will often be in their favor to make you purchase their product. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe and check out my other videos.